You know the message. Always was, always will be Aboriginal land. And I'll start with the issue of climate change, simply because that is on our TV screen all day long this past week, or actually months. And the, um, what we see is um, really terrifying. If, and I've been saying to my family members this morning, if they didn't believe it before, they must surely believe in climate change now. Because all of a sudden, there are all of those cities in um, New South Wales, in the Northern Rivers area, it is more last season, in Victoria, I don't know how many uh, communities have gone underwater just this last weekend, in Tasmania, and it's going to continue. Not a single one has mentioned how they might either alleviate the circumstances or deal with circumstances otherwise. This nature is a terrible master. In some, in some, some respects, I exult to see what I am seeing because we told you so, you mad bastards. And in the, in the light of every evidence, you continued to behave in a lunacy. The, the, your worst fears have come to pass. And this is an optimal time to speak about what is going on up in the Torres Straits. In the last couple of days, I had a message from a chap up there who uh, indicated to me then w that when the Prime Minister Albanese and the uh, Minister for Aborigines, strange title, um, Linda Burney, visited TI, the people up there wanted to get audience, want to have audience with those two people about what you should know. The one part of Australia up to the last elections that was um, in most uh, um, danger of literally going under the t Thursday uh, uh, with, with the, with the uh, Torres Strait Islands. During our campaign in May, I visited those islands and I saw what was happening. It is dire. They can't move out to any other country. That is their country. It's all right for the non-Indigenous people whose ancestors and, and most recent um, newcomers to the country are going to move to somewhere else. But we're talking about people whose country it is. That is, that is the, their, those are their ancestral lands and they are very important. One of the things that is very concerning to them is that the um, seas have washed out burial grounds and they have to go around the beaches, around the, the areas, and gather up the bones of their ancestors. And that's a matter for sorrow. They are not just losing their homes and being able to move on to somewhere else. These are very deep, um, deeply felt injuries because they're losing their ancestors and their ancestors have made those homes over 
at least 60,000 years. Just trying to think about that. So I'm very pleased that I am able to stand up here today and speak about that issue um, in particular. I believe that we have the opportunity, especially with what's going on down um, in the southern states, to really develop a strong awareness of what is happening up here and the need for um, climate change. I've focused on Thursday Island because I've been there and seen it. But the other part of that story is that despite all of the evidence that is available to governments like the Palaszczuk government, never mind the rest of them down south, as at May um, 22, they were determined to continue taking fossil fuels out of very substantial mines in this state. And they're doing it elsewhere. But they were determined to do it against all of the evidence that they were themselves witnessing right on their back doorsteps in Brisbane, never mind just down the road in Lismore. We really have to up the ante. We really mean, need to get our forces together in a big way. We've become, I, I believe that this is an opportunity as no other for a very long time to get really um, into these issues and generate a bit more um, act activism around them.